Hello technical writing students, this is Julie Grosch, your technical writing instructor, and uh, one of the activities or assignments that you're going to work on for this week is the reference page, okay? The reference page for uh, a professional portfolio is not really talked about a whole lot in your book, uh, so if you look on my MTI, I do have this document downloaded for you. And then I'm going to show you an example document as well. Everything you'll need will be right here on this document. Um, to tell you or to help you know what you need to put on your reference page. Uh, with technical writing, what we suggest is instead of on your resume, instead of saying at the bottom resume or res references are available upon request, instead of doing that, just send a reference page along with your resume when you send it. That way they don't have to ask for it. Um, you see you're one step ahead of everybody else that um, will need to be contacted again to get their references. Yours will already be there. So you would turn in your letter of application, your resume, and your reference page all at once. Um, to your future employer or prospective employer and then they would have everything that they needed all at one time. So a reference page, what it says right here in this document for you, um, is that you will title it References. The information at the top of your page will be the same information that you had on your letter of application and it'll be, the, it'll be the same information that you put on your resume. All of that personal information at the top, the heading or your letterhead, your personal letterhead, um, will be similar or will be the exact same in all three of those documents, which is good for consistency. You'll have a title on the page that says References and then you need to list three, no more than four people who are in a position to evaluate at you either as a student or as an employee. Uh, one of the things is is that before you put them on a reference page you do need to make sure you ask them um, if they can be a reference for you because you want to make sure you have somebody that's going to that's going to say positive things about you uh, if an employer does call them. Uh, some other things here that you'll note do not use someone who is just a friend these are professional references not personal references. Uh, be careful when using co-workers and relatives it says if maybe your father, your uncle, or your grandfather have been the only people you've worked for. And that's okay. If you've received an actual paycheck or payment consistently from them, you can use them as a reference. Or if you've worked with somebody for a very long time, like a coworker, you can use them as well. Um, out of the three or four people that you do use, please pick at least one current or recent employer, and please pick at least one current or recent instructor, okay? Um, again, you need to ask these people permission when you use them, and then see how they would like to be contacted. Do they want to list a home? phone? Do they want to list a work phone? Are there specific times they want to be contacted? All of those kinds of things. For each reference you're going to need at least six pieces of information. You have to have their name with the courtesy title which is Mr., Ms., Miss, Mrs., or Doctor. Their professional title or their job title. What it is that they do. Are they a CEO? Are they an owner? manager, what are they? The name of their business, where they work, you'll need their street address, the city, state, and zip code where they where they work or live, and then a telephone number. If you want to list a cell phone number or an, an email after this, that's fine as well. And that's what it says here under this note, okay? Uh, make sure that you are not abbreviating anything, especially in that street address or the city, state, and zip. State, you can, you can abbreviate, uh, but in the street address, you need to write out the word north or boulevard or avenue, street, all those kinds of things. So here's an example of what it would look like for you. And then it says at the bottom, when you're finished, center the information on the page vertically so it looks professional and balanced. So let me give you an example uh, of what one should look like. Here's one that I've written, and it says my personal information at the top. Um, I've, I've centered it uh, in the page horizontally and vertically. So you can see there's the same amount of space at the bottom as there is at the top. Um, one thing that I don't like, if you come here to the, to the middle of the page and you center it this way, um, it's going to look a little bit more like poetry uh, when you center it like this. Um, so if, if you are going to center it in the middle of your page this way, make sure that you have a straight line up and down here so it doesn't end up looking like poetry. But again, you have the person's name with their courtesy title, um, wh what it is that they do, their job title, their business, um, the street address, city, state, and zip, and then their phone number. And three references is all you need. You can have four, but not more than four. So really, it's a quick and easy assignment. Um, won't take you very long to do. I am going to count off points for, for very specific things. Again, uh, like I said, abbreviations or make sure you're capitalizing things in a consistent way, uh, make sure you are being consistent on the way that you space things, uh, and make sure that it looks nice and that your information up here is correct as well. If you have any questions on the reference assignment, please let me know. Otherwise, I think that's all I had for you on this. Thank you.